I'm Nick Bonner for TreeStuff.com, and today we're going to look at some of the different micro pulleys that are available for arborists and use at a height. <clears throat> First, when we look at micro pulleys, we're going to see kind of your traditional single sheave miniature pulley with a swinging side plate. The carabiner will capture here, and the running rope will run here. This is very basic, pretty simple. Next kind of option that you might see, uh, this pencil fix here. This is a fixed side plate pulley. And this is one of the more basic versions. You see it does have a becket here. This becket is not rated specifically by Petzl. This is a nice, compact, inexpensive pulley when you need a single pulley. As you think about other fixed side plate pulleys, you see here, this is the DMM Pinto. This is one of the nicer fixed side plate pulleys, pulleys available and one of the first pulleys on the market to really go to rope-friendly surfaces. So you can put a prusik in either side up here of the side plates, or using an included spacer, you can go right through the center here. You can also load this becket up to the loading strength listed on the pulley, and that allows for a variety of different configurations. You can tie knots or put a splice right here. This is the ART Cocoon. This was one of the first pulleys that allowed for a direct sling placement. It's a little more complicated of a mechanism, but this piece of bar stock can go in here and it can actually be oriented either of these two 90 degree choices, your prusik or cordage would be around that bar, and then this goes into place, securing the bar in place. This is a very smooth pulley from ART, uh, very, very premium stuff out of ART. We're gonna look at some swinging side plate micro pulleys now. So uh, we looked at this very basic one. We start to see some more advanced style stuff, and this is pretty cool, there's a button here. You see, you can't quite press down on this SMC Apex button until you push it out of orientation. And then it's going to allow this gate to open up. Put your, your rope on there and then just shuts with no, uh, no extractions there. So it's pretty nice from SMC. You also have a nice soft good uh, base installation here. So you can put a small sling or a Dyneema strap is what SMC recommends for use here. Along the same lines, we also have the line of Rock Exotica Omnis. These come in a variety of sizes. This is one of the smallest ones, the 1.1. And these all feature, again, a button. So one action, a second action, and then you have to press the button a third time to get this to open. So these are good for life support or light rigging up to the rated MBS and ABSs. And these also all feature a swivel. So these are really nice if you're using a complex mechanical advantage, complex redirects, building high lines, things like that, where you really want something to swivel and you need midline attachability, these Rock Exotica Omnis are excellent. One of the primary uses for a micro pulley is as a hitch tender. And we saw people starting tending hitches with single sheave, single hole, swinging side plate and fixed side plate pulleys that we've talked about. Eventually people started adding a second hole. And we see that here on what is uh, colloquially known as the Mickey Mouse pulley from CMI. You would use this to tend your slack in a DRT system with the climber clipped in here and the dead end of the climbing line clipped in here. And what that does is it prevents the weight of the pulley from falling and bringing your climbing system down. This was incredibly popular uh, during kind of the heyday of DRT. We see this version of from CMI and a similar version uh, made by Stein. Uh, this is the Skywalker pulley, again, two holes, swinging side plates. Same kind of concept in that you're tied in here and your sharp end of your DRT line is here. These can also be used in terms of building high lines or if you just needed to anchor a point between two spots, you can very cleanly do that with either of these options. DMM entered the game. Man, I wanna say it was 10 years ago, maybe, or more uh, with this pulley, the Hitch Climber Basic or Hitch Climber Classic. And this took the two hole pulley to, to a new level, three holes, right? Uh, and what this allowed climbers to do was, again, be clipped in here and use this hole to keep the system up, but also attach a secondary climbing system, a chest harness, or any other number of options for V-rigs or M-rig climbing. There's a ton of great videos. Taylor Hamill has done some of those, uh, as well as some of our webinars where you can check out ways to climb with the hitch climber pulley. Uh, these are also useful for rigging, um, again, for high lines and more complicated, like drift line or horizontal rigging. Eventually, DMM had to update the hitch climber. 
These are still popular and are still sold, but the new Hitch Climber Eccentric is even nicer. A lot of changes here. This is not symmetrical, it's asymmetrical in that on this side, you have a nice flared opening. This allows the rope when it's being pulled at an angle as you're tending slack to feed very true, uh, as well as really just bringing the whole system into an even nicer looking package. Really, really nice swinging side plate pulley uh, from DMM. We also sell a bunch of really kind of advanced specialty pulleys. One of my favorites is the Petzl Mini Traction. There's a lot of different pulleys like this that incorporate a capture progress or a cam. Uh, on this one, you have this cam here that allows the rope to run one way and one way only, as well as a really fancy three action switch. And you can see the instructions here on how to load the rope. And of course, you can block this cam open uh, with the switch right here. This is some of the micro pulleys that we sell at treestuff.com. You can check these out every day or use the coupon code online to save 7% off almost everything in your order. Thanks for watching.